right now, the latest chapter in the Sheriff Tony saga involves a federal investigation. Did Brower's top cop tell the truth about his past? Local 10's Roy Ramos is live with details on this. Roy. Louie, and we have just received an update from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement who have just announced they have launched a preliminary investigation into the sheriff. What does this mean? Well, this is the part of their investigation while they're where they will now start obtaining documents to see if the sheriff was involved in any criminal activity. Just days after it came to light that Broward Sheriff Gregory Tony declined ever having a criminal record sealed or expunged in a routine police form he filled out earlier this year, and we are now hearing from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. The agency announcing it has now launched a preliminary investigation after receiving a complaint. The top cop made misstatements about his past on law enforcement documents. In a statement, FDLE writing in part, a preliminary investigation involves research and gathering documents and or information in response to an allegation or complaint. If reasonable suspicion is found, a criminal predicate is established and a full criminal investigation would begin. This has nothing to do with race or politics. We're talking facts here. You must fill out the questions correctly. And that's because of the state statute. Several candidates in the race for sheriff sounding off earlier this week after learning Sheriff Tony killed a man at just 14 years old. The case was eventually ruled self-defense in the juvenile court system where records are kept private. While we have yet to get a direct response from Sheriff Tony regarding the new preliminary investigation, earlier this week his campaign said in a statement the sheriff filled out the form correctly, adding the FDLE form specifically asked whether he ever had a criminal record sealed or expunged saying the sheriff never had a criminal record. There are records. Records are still there somewhere, okay? They don't toss away homicide records. So we did get a chance to reach out to the sheriff again today. We were directed to his campaign, who released this statement that reads, FDLE is now following their usual protocols when a complaint has been filed. Sheriff Tony filled out the form correctly. The FDLE form specifically asked whether he ever had a criminal record sealed or expunged. The sheriff has never had a criminal record. As you heard right there, the latter part of that statement, very similar to the statement that we received earlier this week. We're going to remain in close contact with the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. As we gather more details from them, we will be sure to bring them to you. For now, outside of BSO headquarters here in Fort Lauderdale, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.